Hi. Um, mm. So the problem. Well, yeah, you know, I'm actually going to show you the problem first. All right. What I would love to get rid of is. I don't know if you can see the front wheels and even the, the rear wheels they're kind of wobbly you know like very wobbly and they shouldn't be I'm gonna gonna show you why right now <coughs> So this vehicle was creating using physics constraint. So if we take for example the right wheel behind, you have jeez. Uh, Alright, you have one constraint for the suspension, which attach the suspension to the body. This suspension is uh, locked everywhere and limited on the Z motion to create a, a spring and it's locked everywhere on the the angular so it shouldn't actually twist on the x-axis like it does and then the rear right axle is what connects the wheel to the suspension And there again, it is locked everywhere except for the y-axis, so that the wheel can spin. And so there again, it shouldn't wobble on the x-axis. <coughs> yeah, I do have sub-stabbing uh, activated in the project setting. I don't know if that changes anything. The wheels and the body are a simple static mesh with simulate physics activated. I don't know if having skeletal meshes with physics assets would help that, or is it simply something that happens because I'm doing all this in blueprints? Uh, let's just crank that value up a little bit so that you can see the problem better all right <clears throat> so the the wheels it looks like they're gripping on the ground and then they do rotate around the x axis even though they shouldn't you can see it's actually very bad and it makes the vehicle bounce from side to side which look very bad from the inside especially so yeah, if any of you can tell me uh, why this does this or could tell me anything that might potentially help prevent this that'd be very much appreciated so that was it thanks for watching